Hundreds of thousands of people from all walks of life turned out to cheer, but that was far smaller than the 1.8 million who came here to Washington in 2009. CCTV correspondent Ina Donaghy walked with the crowds along the parade route. Well, we're here right at the back. We're way underneath the Washington Monument. We're very, very far back. We're probably about a mile from the Capitol. But as you can see, there are thousands and thousands of people that have come here. The atmosphere is absolutely electric. We don't have much of a view here, but everyone's watching all the action on huge screens. For many here, the day is particularly meaningful as the inauguration falls on the same day as the national holiday commemorating Martin Luther King. It's a very meaningful day. It's the passing of the torch from Dr. King to Obama. We as a people came a long way that we could do anything that we want to. We could be successful at anything. So what do you tell your children about the president? I tell them one day they could be the president. Anything is possible right now. Well, right now, everyone's listening to Obama's inaugural speech. Um, the crowd is extremely quiet. Everyone's very calm and everyone's absolutely riveted by this screen right behind me. Some were hoping for Obama to do a great deal more. Michael is a student who will be graduating when Obama ends his second term. I want the job market to be a lot better. Others want Obama to continue what he's already started. Uh, I'd like to see him do something about gun control. I'd like to see him wind down the Afghan war. I'd like to see him um, sh shore up the finances to a degree without, not without cutting too much. And for Jasmine, who traveled from New Jersey... Um, education. Education is most important. We've had Obama's inaugural speech. We've had the national anthem sung by Beyonce. And now we're heading up to Pennsylvania Avenue along with thousands of people. It feels like the whole city is walking along with us, but things are still very calm. We're going up to the parade route uh, where President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama will come out of the Capitol and they'll part drive, part walk all the way down Pennsylvania Avenue back to the White House. So we finally made it down to Pennsylvania Avenue. The sun's come out, it's turned into a glorious day. As you can see, everyone's taking every available vantage point. This is a ticketed area, but right over here we have the old Washington Post office and you can see people right up the steps there. They probably got here really early this morning. We're probably about five minutes away from the actual parade now. Every spectator we spoke to came from a different state. These ladies from Atlanta, South Carolina and Florida want Obama to do more across the political and geographical divides. I hope that we can somehow unite this country. We're too divided. We're much too divided here. A long day for many, and a spectacle largely seen via phones and iPads. But from a crowd's eye view, we still saw history pass by. Nina Donaghy, CCTV, Washington.